Hey guys, I'm going to do another quick demo video. In this demo video, I'm going to show you what this widget management is all about, which allows you to go in and actually create these little buttons, these click to call or text us buttons that you see on this website right here. So you can go in and actually create those from our platform. So I'm going to show you how to go in and actually create those buttons and those widgets. So to get started, you just need to go in and add a new form. So I'm a I'm going to add this widget to this text in bulk website. As you can see, there is no little widget there. There's no button there. So I'm going to go in and create one and add one. So first thing you need is you need to know the domain name. You want to put that on. So I just go ahead and put that in. Then you're going to need a logo file. So I'm going to just select this logo file right here. That logo file is going to show up on that form right here where this logo is. So it's going to be that logo right there. So, um, now, after that, you're going to go in and put a description. So that description is also going to show up on that form right here. This is that description right there. So we're going to go ahead and put in that description. Okay, so I've put in that. Like I said, that's going to be the description that shows up right here. So now I've given that description. Now you need to pick the users from your account that you want to be able to get connected with these leads. So I created this John Demo user in the previous video. So I'm just going to use this guy. I could use multiple if I want, but I'm only going to have this John Demo He's the only user that's qualified to take leads from this website. If Joy was qualified, I could add her too. And then both these agents could get leads from this website form. But only John's qualified, so I'm just only going to put John Demo there. So after you select your user list that you want to be able to accept the leads coming in, then you're just going to pick whether you want to call them or SMS form. That's what this is. Caller Texas Now is a call and SMS form. Or you can have a call only form or an SMS only form. Then you can record some audio. This is the audio that your agents are going to hear when they get a new lead coming in. So let's record that. This is an incoming lead coming from textinbulk.com. So what's going to happen is your agents, whenever somebody comes in and they fill out their phone number and they click call me now, what's going to happen is this agent is going to receive... Uh, he is going to receive a phone call on whatever number that you have listed to him, his phone number. He's going to receive an incoming phone call from his Twilo number that's assigned to him. And the first thing that's going to happen is he's going to hear this audio that lets him know that he's got a lead coming from text in bulk. Because this agent could be receiving leads from multiple websites that allows him to know what site this is coming from. Same thing with this SMS contact content. What's going to happen is your your agent is going to receive, if somebody comes to this website widget and they request a text message, then this agent is going to receive at their phone number from their Twilo number, they're going to receive a text message that will have this SMS content and then it will also have a Google short link that they can just click to open up the conversation history and communicate with that lead. So you'll see that in action in just a second. Then we're going to set our calling procedure. We recommend call everybody at once. Then you can set your SMS notification notification and email notification in case these notifications are whenever calls are coming in and no agent is able to actually answer that call and deal with that lead you'll get a missed call notification at this cell phone number if you enable this and at this email address if you enable this to let you know that hey you just missed a lead so that you can go back in and follow up don't worry about that though because they will still be in your crm even if you miss them next thing you're going to do is Configure your schedule. This schedule allows the time frame in which you're able to accept leads. So right now, we're just going to leave it on 24-7. So any day of the week, any hour, we're going to allow leads to come in just for this demo purpose. Then you'll go next, and you'll just simply let us know, do you want this to show up on the desktop version? Do you want this to show up on the mobile version? We want it to show on both. And then your very last step is you're going to get the code that you need to add to your website. Just one little line of code. So I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to log into the website. I'm going to log into the text in bulk website. And then I'm just going to add this code here. 
So we recommend that you always just put this in the very footer right before your body tag. So right before this body tag, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add that script tag. And I just added that. And as you can see, um, I brought this up earlier. So let's open up an incognito window. And let's go to text in bulk and see if our form is there. So now you can see on text in bulk that form is there. So now let's just go in back to this form here real quick. And we'll go to our widget management. Let's just turn this off. So we're going to deactivate this widget. Go back over here. Let's just reload the page. You can see that now that widget is gone and that widget is no longer on the website anymore. So let's go ahead and turn this back on and come back over here and reload this page. And you can see now this widget is here. So let's go through and show you how it works. So a user just is going to click it. You can see that they're able to request a call right now or a text message right now, or they can choose a time from your actual schedule. But remember, you have any time of the week, so that's why this is showing up. So now what they're going to do is they're going to put in their phone number, 812-820-1666 is the guy's phone number. He's requesting a text message right now. So now what's going to happen is this user here, if you remember, this user is getting an incoming phone call, and here's the incoming phone call coming from his Twilo number. This is an incoming lead coming from textinbulk.com. There's that intro audio. Press one to talk to the client. Press one to talk to the client, to the lead. So now you're going to press one. Your agent's going to press one. He just received this on his cell phone. He heard he got an incoming lead from textinbulk.com. The number trying to call is not reachable. And... Yes. Now he's connected with that lead. Now that particular lead was not reachable. So you can see instantly pretty much a user's came in. They filled a user's came in. They've actually filled out that lead form on your website and they were instantly connected with you. So what happens if they go and do the same thing through text message 812-820-6661. Now he's going to ask for a text message. So now that text message has went out. So now we're going to see what happens when that text message goes out. So if you look, what's happened here is you can see you've just got this new incoming lead from textinbulk.com. So I can see that this incoming lead has came in here. So now this is a text message that your agent would have received on his cell phone. Okay. So now on his cell phone, he can just literally click that link. Whenever he clicks that link, it's going to ask him to authenticate if he's not authenticated. So I'm going to go ahead and log in for him. Logging in as that sub agent. And I'm going to show you how this looks on a mobile phone because this is typically done on his mobile phone. So now your agent, what happens is your agent, he just goes in and all he does is he receives that text message. He clicks clicks the link, this short link that was sent to him. He clicks that and it just opens this up right here where he can go in and he can instantly send a text message back out to this person. So he can go in and send a text message back out to this person or he can have a live phone call with this person if he wants to. Okay, so you can see how the lead came in, how the lead came in through SMS and through phone call. So now I'll show you another trick real quick. Uh, if you want to auto respond to these, you can auto respond to these pretty easily. So whenever users request a text message, if you want to go ahead and initially send them a text message and not wait for your user, because if you've noticed, your user received this text message on a cell phone, but the the lead coming from their website still hasn't received a text message until your agent goes in and acknowledges the new message request. So if you want the website user to go ahead and receive an initial text message asking him what he actually needs, how you can help him, then I'll show you how you can configure that. You're just going to take the SMS content. So basically what you would do is you would come right in here to this form. You're going to take this SMS content and then you're going to go to an autoresponder. Let's go to the software marketing autoresponder and then you're going to add in this keyword. Okay, so now we're going to go in and add in that keyword. And now, as you can see, we've got that keyword 
on this autoresponder software marketing and this autoresponder is attached to the software marketing phone number and I also know if I go to my user management that this user John Demo who is receiving these incoming leads I've assigned him this software marketing phone number okay so now that that's set up I can come back in and I can request a new text message. I'm going to just come in here. And I'm going to give a new phone number, 812-820-6662. And I'm going to request a text message. Now, I'm going to show you if you come in and you look here. I see here's a new text message that's came in. And I can see this guy has automatically been responded to. So now my agent has not had to... My agent, now here's my agent's view if he loads this up on his cell phone. Remember the agent just received on his cell phone a text message with that content and this short link that links him right into this conversation where he can instantly reply back. And now you can see he's already been replied. So a reply has already went out on his behalf. So that now once he, now and the whole idea is now once your agent actually clicks on that link, hopefully whoever the website person was, he's already sent a text message back asking what he actually needs. So it's just going to help your actual agents agents out. So um, a couple other things I'm going to show you and then this video will be done. We'll just go to your widget management and we're going to go in and edit your schedule real quick. We're going to look and see what time EST is right now and I can see that it's 651 EST. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change this Monday to 7 o'clock and I'm going to go to my next step. So now I can come back here and you can see this screen here and then I'm just going to open this up again. So I'm going to show you the difference between these two screens. If you see, this is the screen before I changed my schedule where the user could click the button and just be instantly connected this is the screen after I've changed my schedule now after I've changed my schedule since we're not open to receive phone calls right now the user cannot ask for a call right now he can only ask for a call later and he has to pick from um, a date and you can see 7 a.m. is the earliest that he can actually request this phone call so that's what your schedule is doing and then just keep in mind that everybody is now added to this directory. Whenever you've created that, whenever you've created that website widget, you created a website widget for textinbulk.com. You can see that you have a list with that same name right there. And now you'll see on this list all the leads that you've intook. So every lead that's came in through this through this widget is added to this list so that you can go back and remarket to them later. So that pretty much sums up the website widget and how that works. You can see uh, that they're very elegant. They're very nice. You can go in and actually, I guess one more thing that I'll show you why we're here before this video is over is I'll show you the different options that you have. So you can go in let's say you want to call only so now you got that call only and you can see that this button is call us now there is no text message option and he can't ask for a call right now because you're actually closed he's got to wait till seven okay or you can go in and you can do an sms only form now you do the sms only form you can see it says text us now and he can only request a text message. He can't request a phone call. He can only request a text message because it's a text message form. Or you can go back in and you can pick call or text us and have both options. That's the most recommended option because you want to give your website vid visitors all the communication options that they want. So that goes over. Remember, you're going to actually receive uh, email notification as well. So your agent is also going to receive an email notification letting him know with the link to open up that he's got a new lead coming from textandbulk.com. So your agent's going to receive an SMS notification and an email notification for new incoming leads. And then if they request a phone call, he's just going to receive the phone call on his cell phone and then he can press one to deal with the with the lead. So that pretty much sums up this website, this website widget, this widget management, how you can go in and create these. You can create these for as many websites as you want. You can create them for different website pages so that you can have one for sales, one for customer support, and just put them on different pages. That's completely up to you, but you can see how they work. If you still have any questions, then you just contact us at support and we can answer any questions that you have. But that's the end of this video.